Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Craig at Heidi Pipes. Hope everybody uh, tuned in last evening for the Pipe Week Awards. And a special thank you goes out to Peter Piper for uh, hosting this year's events. It was a lot of fun. And congratulations to all the winners. Smoking my... Northern Briars, I almost forgot the name of the pipe, Northern Briars um, with some McBaron Golden Extra in it. So this is a, a VR out to Cosmo. Happy anniversary, Cosmo. I've been watching you for months now um, and really appreciate the content you're putting out and uh, I really enjoy having a pipe with you. So what Cosmo has asked us uh, to do is a couple of questions and that first one is what is your best time or, and I'm paraphrasing here what is your best time to have a pipe short answer is any time that's available but uh, for me I guess I guess I have two primary times uh, at the start of the day um, I do enjoy having a pipe with my first cup of coffee, um, browsing my uh, YTPC uh, videos. Um, you know, it's kind of my wake or upper routine, and I'm usually alone in my own little space, and I really just enjoy that quiet time uh, with the pipe. Conversely, the uh, other time I truly enjoy the most is like right now, it's uh, it's about 7.30, 8 o'clock in the evening. It's uh, you know, still light out, but the uh, neighborhood is really quiet, although it's usually very quiet around here. But uh, temperature is comfortable. I got the lawn, like today I got the lawn mode, and I did some edging and I did some uh, trimming, hedge trimming and you know so it was a day of yard work and you know to come out in a very comfortable evening and have a pipe this is uh, this is sublime <laughs> for a lack of a better word so I enjoy uh, those two times of the day. Um, the second question that Cosmo uh, asked us about was uh, Give us a uh, hint for kind of new pipe smokers. And I thought about this and what I've learned from all you guys out there watching, you know, people like, you know, Mutton Chop Piper. And uh, when Ma I started with matches, um, you know, he was the first person I kind of watched with the pipe world. But Mutton Chop does great tutorials for novice pipe smokers. But, you know, also getting those reinforcements from you guys um, and your tips and tricks of the trade. And I think after so far up to this point, compiling all of that knowledge, uh, for me, uh, the thing that always gets me, and I have to still be cognizant of it myself when I'm smoking a pipe, Don't inhale too hard. Sometimes you're tempted to, uh, especially at the initial light or uh, the second light, you're tempted to get that uh, tobacco going. So you're really, you're sucking in really, really hard. And for me, I've encountered, uh, you know, tongue bite a number of times from the hot steam coming off of that because I'm just trying to really generate that. I rather light it three or four times rather than get that tongue bite. But I still have to sometimes remind myself of that, that, you know, if I'm doing this like again. Gentle. And then also subsequently when you're smoking your bowl, gentle. Enjoy the tobacco, enjoy the pipe, enjoy just, you know, smoking your pipe. 
It's not a contest into who's going to get done with the bowl first. You shouldn't be rushing through it. Um, again, that leads to, you know, tongue bite. Uh, the tobacco will get scorched a little bit more, so it won't have quite the nice flavor that you want to extract from it. Slow. Smoke slow. So that's the big tips. I, that's my, not the tips, but the tip I would give is just slow it down um, and enjoy the pipe. So again, congratulations, Cosmo. Great goal you're running. And for everybody, be well, be safe, and most importantly, be good to one another. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.